children, I hope you are all staying well and safe at home. Today we are going to be doing some maths work together. So we are going to be using a number line to solve some addition and subtraction calculations. So before we start, please make sure that you have got a piece of paper and a pencil ready to use so that you can work along with me. Brilliant. So before we start, I thought it'd be important that we recap some of the words that mean add. So can you pause the video and tell your adult or write down on your piece of paper as many different words that you know mean the same as add? Well done, I'm sure you thought of lots of different words, but let's have a look at some of the words that I thought of. So I know that plus also means the same as add. Sum all together total, together, and more. So you would see these words in a word problem perhaps, asking you to add two different amounts together, or maybe more than two different amounts, but these words will be used in the sentence and they will tell you that you need to add something together. So when we are using a number line to help us with our calculations, we might sometimes have a number line that already has the numbers written on it that we can use to help us. So in this case, when I want to add 9 and 7 together, I can use the number line here to help me by finding 9 first and then counting on 7 jumps of 1. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 9 add 7 equals 16. I can write my answer in. Now I have got another one for you to have a go at. So can you pause the video and have a go at using the number line to add together 8 and 9. Remember you need to find 8 on your number line first and then count on 9 steps of 1. Well done, let's have a look to see if you have got the correct answer. So we need to find number 8 first and then we are going to count on 9 jumps of 1. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight plus nine equals 17. Well done if you got the correct answer. Now we sometimes might not have a number line to hand that we can use to help us with our calculation. So we might have to draw a number line. So here I have got a blank number line and I'm going to use it to help me work out 25 plus nine. I'm going to start by writing 25 at this side of the number line, the left hand side, and then I'm going to count on nine jumps of one. So if I add one, write that there so that I know I'm adding one, I will get to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Let's check now that we have made the right number of jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've made 9 jumps of 1. That means my answer is 34. 25 add 9 equals 34. Here we've got another one for you to have a go at home. So pause the video, draw yourself a blank number line and work out 47 plus 8. Well done, let's have a look to see if you have got the correct answer. So remember we need to write 47 on the left hand side of our number line and then we are going to make 8 jumps of 1. 1, 2, 3, So let's check we have definitely got eight jumps of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. So I know that 47 add eight equals 55. Now I have got two two digit numbers to add together. So it's a little bit trickier. We can partition our second number into our tens and ones 
to help us so that we don't have to make as many jumps. So I know that in 12 I have got one 10 and I have got two ones. Now I'm going to start by putting 54 at the end of my number line from the left hand side and then I'm going to make a jump of 10. So 54 add 10, I'm going to write in the middle, add 10 equals 64. And now I've got to make two jumps of one. So 64 add one is 65. And 65 add one is 66. So if I then check, I have added 10 and then I've added two jumps of one. So that's my 12 in total. So 54 add 12 equals 66. I'd like you now to pause the video and have a go at partitioning this number here, the second number, into your tens and ones, and then using the number line to add them together. Well done, let's have a look to see if you have got the correct answer. So when we partition our 13 into tens and ones, I have got one ten, and I have got three ones. I'm going to start on my number line by writing 45, and then I'm going to start my jump of 10. 45 add 10 equals 55. And then I'm going to do three jumps of one, so 55, 56, 57, 58. Some of you might be able to go from 55 and do a jump of three and get to 58. So now I know my answer is 58. I can write that up here. Well done if you got that answer. So now we have had a little look at the addition calculations using the number line. I think it'd be important that we check if we can remember lots of different words that mean the same as subtract or take away. Can you pause the video and write down or tell your adult the different words that you know that mean the same as take away? Well done, let's have a look to see how many you have remembered. So words that mean the same as take away, you could have difference between, subtract, left, less, minus, or fewer. So these are words that you might see in a number sent uh, a written sentence, a word problem, telling you to take away a, an amount from another number. So let's have a look at using a number line now to subtract. So here I have got 14 take away 6 and I have a number line with the numbers on already. So when you're taking away you always start with your biggest number. So I need to find 14 on my number line. Here is 14 and I'm going to count back six jumps of one from 14. So I'm going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's check that I've got six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 14 take away six equals eight. Can you now pause the video and have a go at solving the calculation 16 take away 8. Remember when we take away we start with the biggest number so we need to start at this side of the number line, the right hand side. Off you go. Well done, let's have a look to see if you've got the correct answer. So I need to find 16 on my number line, here it is, and I'm going to count back 8 jumps of 1. 1, 2, 3, 5, six, seven, eight. So 16 take away eight equals eight. Some of you might have been able to work that out in your heads because you remembered your doubles from big maths. Well done if you could. But it's sometimes important that you use a number line to check your mental calculations are correct. Now I've got a blank number line because remember we don't always have a number line with numbers ready to use. So sometimes we need to draw our own. When we are taking away, remember we start on the right hand side of our number line. So I'm going to start by putting 28 at the right hand side of our number line. And then we are going to count back seven jumps of one. So 28 take away one is 27. Take away two, 26, three, four, five, six, and then that means my answer is 21. 28 take away 7 equals 21. Some 
sometimes you might need to cross the tens fence. So in year two, we were looking at using, at taking away numbers that were going to take us into a different tens bracket. So when we take nine, so in year two, we were looking at having to cross the tens fence sometimes when we were doing our subtraction calculations. So that means when you are taking away a number from a larger number, but you need to go back into the, the group of tens before. So here, I know that I'm going to have an answer in the twenties because nine ones is more than seven ones. So when I take away nine ones from 37, my answer is going to be in the twenties. So we are going to partition our nine into seven and two, because I know that seven add two equals nine, and that will make me more efficient when I'm doing my take, taking away on the number line. So I'm going to start by putting 37 at the right hand side of my number line. I'm then going to do a jump of seven backwards. 37 take away seven equals 30. Then I've got two jumps of one to do. 30 take away one equals 29 and 29 take away 1 equals 28. So I know that 37 take away 9 equals 28. Here I have got a calculation for you to have a go at at home. 26 take away 8 equals what? Remember, you are going to be crossing the tens fence. So your answer is going to have a 1 in the tens column. Pause the video and have a go. Well done, let's have a look to see if you remembered how to take away on the number line. So we are going to partition our eight into six and two, because that will make it easier and more efficient to take away our six from 26. I will start by putting 26 on the right hand side of my number line. I'm going to do a jump back of six, 26 take away six equals 20. And then I'm going to do a jump of one, 20 take away one equals 19 and 19 take away 1 equals 18. So 26 take away 8 equals 18. Well done if you got the right answer. So now that we've remembered how to use our number lines to help us with our addition and subtraction, I've got a little bit of a reasoning problem for you to help me with. Here, Ben is representing 6 take away 3 on the number line. But Ben has made a mistake. What mistake has Ben made in the number line? Pause the video and see if you can work out what mistake Ben has made. Well done, let's have a look to see if you worked out the, uh, the mistake that Ben had made. So Ben wanted to represent six take away three. He had started at six and he had done one, two jumps back from six, but Ben wanted to take away three. So Ben was one jump short. So if you worked out that Ben has only counted two jumps back, and he needs to count three jumps from six to get the answer three, then you have worked out the problem that Ben had made. Well done. So here I have got several addition and subtraction calculations for you to have a go at at home using a number line. So if you would like to, you can pause the video and you can do a couple of each or you can even do them all. And remember to draw your number line to help you work out the answer. Well done. I'm going to show you the answers now, but remember, if you haven't done it yet, pause the video and go back to the questions and have a go. Okay, so here are the addition answers. For number one, eight add seven equals 15. And here I have made my seven jumps of one to work out that answer. Number two, nine add five equals 14. And again, I've made my jumps of one from nine to work out the answer 14. Number three, 17 add five equals 22. Some of you might be able to do a jump of three to take you to 20 and then a jump of two to take you to 22. Number four, 18 add eight equals 26. Number five, so this is where I needed to partition my, number, my second number into tens and ones so that I was more efficient. I could add a jump of 10 add a jump of 10 and then add three jumps of one so that I was quicker with my calculation. So number five, the answer is 57. Number six, 62 add 14 equals 76. Again, I partitioned my second number so that I was more efficient. Number seven, 37 add 21 equals 58. So here, when I partitioned my number, 
I had two tens, so I needed to do two jumps of ten on my number line to find the answer. Number eight, again I had more tens this time, so I had 34 and I needed to partition that into three tens and four ones. So I did three jumps of ten and then four jumps of one to find the answer 76. Now our subtraction calculations. 15 take away 6 equals 9. Remember, when we are taking away, we always start on the right-hand side with the largest number. And we then count it back 6 jumps of 1 to find the answer 9. Number 10, 24 take away 7 equals 17. Remember, we started on this side. Number 11, I have got 39 take away 5 equals 34. So I have started at 39 on the right-hand side and counted back 5. Number 12, 42 take away 6, that is crossing the 10 fence, well done if you noticed. So my answer is 36. And then number 13, 26 take away 13, I needed to partition my second number into my 10s and 1s. I took away my jump of 10 first, so 26 take away 10 equals 16, and then I took away my 3 1s. Well done if you found the answer, 13. And my Next question, number 14, 38 take away 15 equals 23. I did my jump of 10 first and then my jumps of 1. Okay, in the last few, 52 take away 22 equals 30. I did my jumps of 10 and then I did my jumps of 1 after to find the answer 30. And finally, number 16, 88 take away 31, so it's a trickier question. I'd had to partition my second number first into 30 and 1, and then I did my three jumps of 10, and then my one jump of 1 to find the answer, 57. Thank you for joining me today to work out some addition and subtraction calculations on the number line. I hope you enjoyed our maths lesson together, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.